Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to the Shadow and Sun Show. Today, we're making a dog. A replacement. Because <laughs> ours is broken. It doesn't work anymore. All he does is lick the floor. Howdy, folks. <laughs> uh, that's right. Uh, tonight, we are building something for DM Scotty's Tabletop Crafters Guild Challenge. Uh, the, the theme this month, or this, this time around, is Man's Best Friend. And I thought, what better way to commemorate our, our wonderful best friend uh, uh, who's licking the carpet. If your dog licks the carpet, uh, uh, can you maybe help us out and figure out why he's doing it? I got a, an idea, but it's, it's, not safe for the it's not safe for the channel. Um, but, so we decided we're going to, <laughs> we're going to make a Sphinx, but doggy style. Um, you know... Yeah, I know. I was I wasn't gonna make that joke. I was gonna say something completely different. But uh, so far we've got his front paws. There's going to be the dream Stella here. That's actually going to be a secret door that pivots open so that you can go inside it. And we haven't decided if we're gonna make the interior playable or not. But for the moment we're just gonna glue some stuff down and uh, you know show you you know basically the process. A lot of it is just good old fashioned chunks of generic, the horrible type of white styrofoam that we had a ton of when we got the bookshelves came packed in the styrofoam and I knew I wanted to save it, use it for something, so that's what we're going to do. Little guy is going to be getting the honors of designing the doggy face and he's going to draw out the... Uh, you know, the, I still have no idea how I'm going to do this because it doesn't well, make any sense to me. Okay. Well, also, just, it should be the other way around because if you see this one, it's slightly longer. Yeah, 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 I know. So well, we're, it should be the other way. But the nose... Oh. That's why I did that. I guess and, that's and, true. And, 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 and just, I was just thinking, just just pr like kind of, you know, draw like a, like a, a this sort of shape, you know, and then we'll we'll, we'll, we'll fix it as we go along, but while he's doing that, I'm just going to glue down some pieces using some tacky glue and some toothpicks to hold everything down while it glues overnight. Like that. Oh, I thought you'd want it more pointy. Okay. Flip it over if you, if you need to to start over. You know what I mean? Um, kind oh, of like. Can you put this over? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you don't. So that when you cut it. But you know, kind of. Here, let me. Here, let me see that, and I'll just kind of sure. sketch out, kind of like, like say this is the piece, right? Yes. I was thinking you'd want to do something like. Mm. So that we can actually put the teeth here. Oh, I wasn't. I'm it's good. just you're, you're start with the lower. I I don't have a very good idea on what. Sorry. Oh wow! I need to put some glue on the underside. Does it go all the way to here? Yeah, all you make it as long as possible. So I want it to hang out over, you know. And he's got the uh, the hot wire foam cutter, not the Proxon. We'll use that. Uh, I used that earlier today, you and broke it. well, I just broke the wire. It's 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 gonna break. Is this good? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then uh, when you're ready to... And what I do on the bottom side? The same thing, just a little bit less. Okay. I'm, I'm, I'm on this side? Well, um, why don't you cut out the first one so that you can By see... Itself? Yeah. And that way you can make the other one smaller by looking at it. And oh, it turns on instantly. Is it on? Yeah, yeah, it does. It's it's instantaneous. Yeah, it's a, it's a nice hot wire cutter. It, it, it I mean the Proxon does the same thing. It's pretty much instant. You know it. Uh, oh, I forgot how interesting. As a matter of fact, our, our friend. Uh, like just cut it in a straight line. Yeah, yeah, and if you want to make it a little bit larger so we can shave it down, our our, our friend over at uh, OK Miniatures, she just built herself her own Proxon cutter, and uh, that was an interesting video if you haven't seen it. If you guys are wanting to, you know, get one, but you, you you just can't budget, you know, spending you know 130 bucks on it, um, she can teach you how to make one. I was really impressed with that video. I, I would have never thought to make one. I just my, my time is just a little bit, you know, 
a little bit too uh, valuable for me personally. I mean, she 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 did a, a wonderful job on it, but I just I, I don't have the time to to drive around and, and, and get all the ingredients to put it together. And I think she has a, a, a dad or family member who's got a lot of the equipment in the house. And most of my tools are, are in here. I mean, I've got a couple of chainsaws and other big, you know, lumber kind ah. of saws. You okay? Yes. Okay. Didn't cut off a finger or anything? No. Okay, that's good. That's good. Yeah, 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 it looks fine. Um, and then, uh, uh, yeah, just be very careful. We've got more if you make a huge mistake, but I wouldn't worry. I thought it looks kind of cool, you know, to start with like the... the yeah, see, I, I didn't just uh, start spinning the uh, this <laughs> wire. Okay, now turn that off unless, unless you're ready to cut. If you're done cutting, because you've got to draw the next part. Is this gone? Nope. Like technically... Oh wow, it's just instantaneous. Exactly, it's, it's awesome. And, still hot? Uh, just in case you guys are... It's still kind of hot. Just in case you guys are interested. Oh, I've got the box right here. Uh, made in Australia. Uh, it's a... Uh, God, what is that? Is that Horace D or something like that? I, I, I don't know what that is. But oh, it's scratched up so. Yeah, but that's, that's the one we have. Got it on Amazon for like 25 bucks, and it's already... You stop that. It's a turned off. I know, I know. In, it's instantaneous. Yeah, I know. But uh, it, it's a really good hot wire cutter. It's already, you know, made itself worth a, a worthwhile purchase. So the next side? It, it, that's going to be the lower jaw or the upper jaw? Lower. Okay. So make the, the lower one a little bit shorter and a little bit... Smaller all the way around. Well, it is guaranteed to be a little bit shorter. Okay. <coughs> Good <Gesundheit. coughs> Bless you. <coughs> yeah, we might have to think about getting uh, opening the window uh, next time. No, I don't even think I'm going to need the toothpicks tonight, folks. I think the weight of the styrofoam, if I just leave it in place, will be fine. Oh. And we're not going to sit here for very long. It, it is still a, a school night. And we got a little bit of a late start, but I think you guys kind of get the idea. Um, we just want to get to the point where you can put put it all back together, and you can see the the lower jaw, the upper part of the face, is going to be a little bit different, and that's where the the gems. If you remember the uh, costume jewelry gems that we showed in the announcement video. That's what we're using them for. They're going to be his eyes. Oh, by the way, to him, vests and ties are considered jewelry. Yeah, yeah, they are. They're unnecessary. I mean, I wear a lot of vests, as you guys have seen in the show, but... But they're jewelry now, so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's, that's my, my opinion. I'm sticking with it. Even though it is an objective yes. falsity. Yeah. I'm not a big tie fan, folks. <clears throat> I think I've worn a tie like three times in my life, and... Don't really see uh, uh But I broke it. No, no, I have sometimes makes that noise. Okay, I'm gonna glue these two together and I am gonna use toothpicks on these ones. But I'm gonna leave this part unglued so that you can uh, see how see right here is going to be the dream stella and it's gonna pivot so that it's a secret door into the rest of the building. And uh, I'll cut this stuff off when he's done later. But it'll be a door and he's gonna use some paper clay and put some uh, some hieroglyphics on it, uh, you know, so that you have to read the secret door message to figure out the puzzle to get into the Sphinx. We're gonna have to come up with another name for it, aren't we? We we'll call it a doggy Sphinx or something, but that just doesn't sound right. It sounds kind of gross. I don't know what it sounds like, but yeah, I don't know why why accurate. it's actually called a Sphinx. I don't know enough about Egypt to know that. Yeah, I, you guys might not not know this, but I actually watch a ton of archaeology and ancient history, prehistory videos all the time in my spare time. Almost it, it, at least two two long videos a day. Uh, sometimes I, I watch them, not watch them, but like I said yesterday, listen to them 
while I'm trying to get to sleep, and then I'll wake up in the morning and, and, and re-watch or re-listen to it because I... Is this good? What? Yeah, yeah, that works. The, the bottom one, you might want to shave, shave off a little, yeah. you know, here with the chin and make it a little, you know, more... Yeah, and, you know, I mean, I know a decent bit about history, but... I guess prehistory is not my strong suit in any way. Yeah, I, I like it because, you know, it, it gives me inspiration for, for gaming dungeons and, and, and other worlds and, you know, Atlantis and things like that. I've always been a, a huge fan of stuff like that, so I, I watch a lot of that. Grandma Hancock and, and a few others are some of my favorites. Um, I don't agree with everything they say. You know, but I just find it... I, don't, I hope he doesn't agree with everything that I say. Yeah. Um, you know, I'm not a... Oh, I, I'm what just, you know... How was that? He said a swear. He's getting older, folks. So he's allowed. <laughs> Could you see the camera shaking? No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you snapped that wire. <laughs> I did not. Yeah, I'm, gl I'm glad because while the Proxon does come with a lot of extra wire, this, I think, came with enough extra wire for two breakages, and I, I really hope um, they they last longer than that. Just toss the styrofoam on the floor. I'll, I'll vacuum and clean up after the, the show. Now I'm going to move on to the body of the Sphinx. Let's get this out of the way so you can see this part. Yes, folks. Oh. Save this stuff. Okay. Believe it or not, it does come in handy. And as you can see, okay. again, I am going to need the toothpicks to keep these walls in place. Okay, yeah. is this good now? Maybe a little more of an angle here. Just like cut at an angle there, just to you know, chins are you know easy. You break it, you bought it. Well, I didn't buy it. No, no, I'll just take it out of your allowance that you don't get. Yes. And so we send these two things. Okay, so they come right popping out the side. And sometimes I have really bad ideas. Like horrendous ideas. Well, you are a teenager, so that's... That, that I, was, I was not necessarily referring to anything that I was most, mostly, mostly referring to things that I to say. Mm -hmm. But, uh... Hopefully I uh, have you not did. done that. Well, you got plenty of time to learn. Okay, here might be a little bit issue. That a problem? No, no. I mean, it, one thing I learned about the the Sphinx while watching these videos I was talking about is that there's some contention on whether or not some of the the uh, sides of it are are more or less water damaged from you know long time ago when when it was the area was flooded and uh, so it, it's not perfectly you know squared and, and uh, okay. And things like that, and I, I tend to think that um, I'm going to go with that. that in, do I want it back here? No, I wanted it over here. Right along that edge. I hope I can just eyeball this, folks. Actually, I'm going to bring it in. And hopefully, it'll go straight up and down. There we go. That looks good. It doesn't have to be perfect. It was built by dogs. Dog people. Wolf and something like that. Um, pass this? Yeah, but uh, again, I, I, um, this is the lower jaw, right? Yes. Kind of looks like T-Rex. Um, maybe a little more like that. So cut it there? Yeah. I didn't, I wasn't even cutting it that way. Okay. That's what I was, okay. I, I wasn't. 
I mean, I had a feeling that that would be something that would be good. Yeah. And then maybe we can... Oh, wow, it touched on... Well, what do you think it's yeah, the, the, the wire is, you know, I don't know what temperature it is, but I, I know it's more, yeah, than, a, it more than like 120 degrees. It's probably a couple hundred degrees, to be honest. I was cleaning that very awfully. Well, you can do it from the other side now, and, you know, but it's, it's looking good. And I will use that tool with one of its uh, accessories to actually make brick lines, the, the you know the, the grout lines or what have you on on the sides of it, so it looks like it's built out of stone. But at the same time, we kind of want it to look weathered and and you know made out of rock. Now, I was my, my initial idea was to make it look. Like like the Sphinx in the, the same color, you know, the yellowish brown stone blocks. What, what do you think? Should we maybe go with a, a regular black and gray sort of dry brush stone, or should we go with the the deserty color? I have no clue. Okay, folks. Is it? Let me see. If, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's perfect. Now I'll turn that off and set it off to the side. We'll cut. Right. Catching it on fire, I'm pretty sure. Okay, well, since he doesn't know and I I can't decide, we'll let you guys vote on it. You think it should be uh, sandstone or whatever that stone is out in the desert? You know, color kind of like the way we did the uh, the uh, space station, you know, sort of. A space station? Yeah, remember that color? Oh, um, yes. But that's not a space station. Well, it's a star port. Yeah. That's Not right. a space station. Okay, okay, smart. Do you think we should do it like that, or should we do it the traditional black bomb with uh, gray dry brush? Wouldn't the black spray paint destroy the styrofoam? Well, I wasn't going to use black spray paint. I would actually use... Is, don't we get uh, spray paint that will do that? Yeah, but it's white, so that really doesn't help us here. Yeah, with the, with the Army Painter uh, yeah. snow arctic terrain set that we bought... Not train set, but terrain set. Um, oh. Are we using this? Uh, no, but uh, if you want to, like, start. Turn it on, it doesn't work. So, you guys in the comment section, if you want, you can uh, tell us what color you think we should do it, and you know, maybe we'll go by that. Let you guys vote on what color you think it should be. Because I really, to me, it doesn't matter. I mean, I can see it looking good as a doggy sphinx. I think that would be funnier. But oh, as a, uh, you just playing? Yes, I am. Okay. There's absolutely no. Did use you to turn this. that off? Yes, I did. Okay. Don't worry. We'll throw that stuff away. I'll clean up when we're done. And uh, I'm gonna just. Take this. You know, I'm just just for the just for the end of the video. I'm gonna just pop that in there. Now that's looking good, right, folks? Yes. Right, so let's do that, and then I'm gonna glue. What this. are we gonna do about the top head, though? The top part, we're gonna. I'm saving these things for ears. Well, you know, I mean, like where the eyes go. Oh, we'll just take another piece and. and carefully, you know, shape it, but that, that's going to take a little bit more work, and we're probably going to have to use, um, honestly, a lot of paper clay to fill in the gaps and the joints and things like that, um, so we're just about done for tonight, I just want to get these two pieces in, and, and, <laughs> I apologize, on behalf of everyone here. Mostly someone else here. Yeah. They know. Entirely. Uh -huh. And it's not our mascot, our faithful man's best friend. And DM Scotty, if you catch this video, uh, I'd love to hear your uh, your thoughts on it. Okay, now line that up right there, and then we'll fill that in. That's the back leg. Does it touch the... I just, I just wanted to just stop right 
at the at the very end so that I can so that I can line the other one up so that they're even. But you can already see it's starting to look like the Sphinx. But uh, like I was saying, I need to get some more paper clay. I've got just a smidge left. And I'm going to use that to, to seal all the cracks and joints and things like that. And can you see if that's lined up properly here? Just with the, this edge and here. You're closer. Yes. Awesome. Cap this. Oh, there's a lot more. Yeah, I'll clean that all up after the show. You save the big stuff, but not the little stuff, because we've got a lot more of it. But let's uh, go ahead and say goodnight to everybody. Yeah, you don't have to do that, buddy. Yeah. yeah. There you have it, folks. That's the beginning of our Chewy Sphinx. Um, Thanks for the idea, DM Scotty. I, I hope you like it. Are you hope, still liking the flow, I presume? Yeah, it probably is. Hope you guys enjoyed this, this goof-off. Hope you guys have a wonderful weekend. I will be back tomorrow with part nine of the Arterwin review. And then, of course, Sunday we'll be back painting the Storm and Cloud Giant from WizKids. Until then, folks, Yes. have a great weekend. Enjoy your spring break because it's coming up for everybody. And... Uh, until next time, we love you guys and... Good night. Bye. Bye, everybody.